Hello, I'm Jeff Foxworthy. It's time to play Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? I'm Jeff Foxworthy, and welcome to Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? Let's meet your classmates. Here's Jed. Yeah. Paul. Awesome. Justin. Let's go. Kara. Yes. And Melissa. All right. All right, here's our next player. I'm very excited to be here. Okay, let me tell you how this works. On the board are 10 subjects. They range in difficulty from first grade to fifth grade. You can pick them in any order you want, but before you do, remember that each of your classmates has a few subjects that they're really good at. So you might want to ask what they are before you make your choice. The first question you get right will get you $1,000. The money goes up from there. The 10th question is worth $500,000. If you ace that test, you'll get one more grade school question. And if you get that one right, we're going to give you one million dollars. Let me tell you how your classmates can help you. You have two cheats. You may pick at your classmates' paper. If you like their answer, you can go with it or you can go with your own. You have one copy, which means you must take the answer that your classmate has written down. And once during the game, they can save you, which means if you have the wrong answer, but your classmate has the right answer, you're saved, you get to keep the money and advance in the game. And finally, if at any point during the test it proves to be too much, you can drop out of school and take the money that you've bankrolled. You can only use each cheat once, and when they're gone, you won't be able to get any help from your classmates for the rest of the game, so use them wisely. You can drop out of school at any time and take whatever money you've earned. But before you can walk away with the loot, you have to tell the whole world that you are not smarter than a fifth grader. Is it a deal? Absolutely. Let's get this thing started then. Now the idea here is to pick someone smarter than you to be your classmate. So any of these kids ought to do fine. Please pick me. I'm going to go with Jet. Cool. Let's see the list of subjects for this game. U.S. Geography, Art, Reading, Measurements, Math, World History, Health, Astronomy, Science, English. All right, let's find out. Are you smarter than a fifth grader? Pick a subject. Okay, for $1,000, here's the question. Your classmate is locked in. Locking in. 
There you go. You're locked in. You've got $1,000. Awesome. You've got your classmate up here with you. Pick a subject. Okay, the $2,000 question is... Jed is locked in his response. Locking in. Okay, there it is. Your answer's locked in. You got that one right. All right. It's time to pick another classmate. Over here. It's you and me, Kara. Cool. You've got your classmate up here with you. Pick a subject. Okay, the $5,000 question is... Your classmate is now locked in. Locking in. Okay, there it is. Your answer's locked in. You got that one right. Woohoo! Pick your next subject. Okay. This next question is worth $10,000. Locking in. Okay, there it is. Your answer's locked in. You got that one right. Excellent. It's time to pick another classmate. Please, pick me. I'm going to go with Melissa. You've got your classmate up here with you. Pick a subject. Okay, you get this next question right, and you leave with $25,000 no matter what happens the rest of the game. I'm going to lock in my answer. You are now locked in. 
you've got $25,000. Woohoo! You came up with the right answer pretty fast. Are you sure you're not a fifth grader? Pick another subject. Okay, this question is almost like a freebie. No matter what happens here, you've won $25,000. Melissa has locked in her response. Locking in. All right, your answer's locked in. You're going for $50,000. You got that one right. Woohoo! Outstanding. Your classmates can only help you two questions at a time. Pick another classmate. Me, me, me. It's you and me, Paul. Pick another subject. Okay, the $100,000 question is... Paul locked in his answer very quickly. I'm going to lock in my answer. Okay, there it is. Your answer's locked in. You're going for $100,000. You've got $100,000. Awesome. This subject must be your specialty. Pick another subject. All right, for $175,000, may we see the question, please? Paul has locked in his response. I feel good about this one. I'm locking in, Jeff. You are now locked in. You're going for $175,000. You've got $175,000. All right. This subject must be your specialty. You're down to your last classmate. Cool. You've got your classmate up here with you. Pick a subject. All right, here's our question for $300,000. Your classmate is now locked in.
Okay, I'm locking in my answer. All right, your answer's locked in. You're going for $300,000. You've got $300,000. Woohoo! This subject must be your specialty. Okay, for half a million dollars, here's the question. Justin has locked in his response. Locking in. All right, your answer's locked in. You're going for $500,000. You've earned half a million dollars. Excellent. You came up with the right answer pretty fast. Are you sure you're not a fifth grader? Well, here you are at the end of the road. You still interested in the big money? Yes. It's the million dollar question. Here's how this deal works. I'm going to tell you the subject of the million dollar question, and right then and there, you'll have to decide if you want to try to answer it or not. Let's see the subject of the million dollar question. And there it is, the million dollar subject. Now you'll need to make the call. Either go for the million or drop out and walk away with $500,000. If you go for it, you won't get any help from your classmates. And if you get it wrong, you'll walk away with $25,000. Or you could get it right and win a million dollars. What are you going to do? I'm going for the million, baby. Are you ready for it? This is the one million dollar question. Whose later inventions included the audiometer, the hydrofoil, and metal detectors? What is going through your head right now? Oh boy. Okay, I'm locking in my answer. You're now locked in for the final time. One million dollars is on the line. First of all, congratulations for getting to the end of the line. It's not easy. It's pretty simple. If you've got the right answer, you're a millionaire. If you don't, you will lose $475,000 and walk out of here with $25,000. Oh my, I can't take much more of this. You've won one million dollars! I can't believe it! Yes! Woohoo! You were just amazing! I just don't believe this is happening. Become a believer, pal! You just won a million dollars! Congratulations, you are smarter than a fifth grader. Thank you for being with us, too. We'll see you next time on Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? Bye-bye, everybody.
I'm Jeff Foxworthy, and welcome to Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? 